Earth Broadcasting Service, transmitting from London. This video is dedicated to the beautiful people of the Gambia. I was meant to be with you today. However, it was not meant to be. I had my injections taken. I had my malaria tablets. I actually checked in within few minutes of online checking in uh, began. I was one of the first. I got my seat number. I was so happy and I went to work. I was about to get ready, pack my suitcases and I looked at my email and then discovered that the flight has been cancelled and rescheduled for Saturday. However, my show with you is meant to be two o'clock. So I will have been in the air while the show was being started, 2.30. So my trip was already short. It was just a few, few days trip and it didn't make sense to be coming after the show. But the important thing is that it's not meant to be. I wasn't meant to be in the Gambia this time. And there's a beautiful lesson to learn from it. I was going to come so that we can launch the Touch Love Worldwide Gambia with our beloved, beloved friend, Uma Cham. However, this translation is telling us something. You don't need me to be in the Gambia for the launching. You don't need me to be there to found this movement. You're capable. You have enough love, enough love energy. You have enough power, the fuel of love. You are filled with it. You don't need me. You don't need us. I was going to be coming with my son. You don't need us to be present there. You need to start the movement. You need to start this powerful, powerful energy, love energy driven movement. You have everything it takes to start it without me being there. One of the topics I was going to be uh, sharing with you is about leaf. A leaf can make a difference. A leaf can make a difference. You can make a difference. You are that one lovely leaf that can make a difference. What difference can you make? What difference can the love, the love powerhouse that you are, you are the love energy, you are a bundle of love energy. What difference can your energy of love make? One leaf can make a difference. This leaf has made a difference because written on it is love to you always love to all always and I have my favorite leaf is the rosemary it has this amazing sense it's good for memory what are the leaves what are the herbs that are local to the Gambia that you can click not understand not understand you, you, that you you can uh, explore that you can research, that could be your own personal sense, something that inspires, that touches the love within you, which is the Gambian leaf, the Gambian herb. What is just on your path? Look for it. Because in every single leaf, in every single herb, in every single earth being, there is something in it that can touch the very love you are and make you radiate worldwide. My one is the rosemary, is the scent of my book. I was going to bring you my book and then we can discuss it. It's titled Many Lovers, book 4267, the publication of World Touch Love Worldwide. And the scent of this book is rosemary. I'll tell you the story another time. But what you take away from this is that one leaf, one leaf can make a difference. And you are that leaf. 
and you can make a difference. In the workshop tomorrow, in the launching tomorrow, in the movement of Touch Love Worldwide, you are the powerhouse that can power a whole generation. Now, um, I planned a number of things. And one of the things I planned is uh, a course, a philosophy course uh, in Touch Love philosophy. And I plan to present certificates for you. So this one uh, is for beloved love bearer, Oma Cham. So everyone was going to be getting a certificate. That could still be done. I could still email the certificate to every participant tomorrow who will want one. I will sign the certificate and I will email it to beloved Oma. Or if you provide me with your email addresses, I will email it to you. So nothing is lost. Tomorrow's launch is going to be powerful because you have the power to touch the love within you and make the difference only love can make. We are trying to make love the overriding objective, the politics. We want love to lead us in whatever we do, in government, in all the economy, in all our work, to put it at the center, to make people hear it. Love is not to be abandoned or to be put aside or not to be taken seriously. It is the core, it is the very thing that powers us to produce beauty in the world, to produce peace in the world, to produce good relationship. So, um, the message I'm bringing to the people of the Gambia is the message you already know, that love is what you are. And if you allow that love you are to radiate, it's going to make the change that only love can make. It's going to be more powerful than the sun, more powerful than electricity. And it could help you listen to yourself to prevent illnesses that are preventable, such as diabetes. We need to listen to ourselves. We need to look at our shapes. We need to listen to our sleep, to our waste products. We need to pay attention. We are very good at running around, stressing to make money. Making money is important because we need to feed our families, we need to feed ourselves, we need to clothe ourselves. However, listening to ourselves to make sure that we are not stressing to a level that brings us illnesses. Anger can bring illnesses. Bearing grudges can bear illnesses. It could cause cancer. If we listen to ourselves and what ourselves are telling us and what our bodies are telling us, we can reduce the illnesses that are caused by the emotional upheaval within us, the problem that the hormones are put into because of the emotional problems we have, you know, the stress or the thinking or the worrying. They are good. Worrying is good if we use it to get ourselves out of our messes. But when we put ourselves to overdrive, we cause ourselves diabetes, we cause ourselves all sorts of illnesses. Illnesses start from the mind and we need to go back to the mind and make sure that our minds are filled with love so that we can defeat, evict, our love will overflow and wash away the illnesses of the mind. So um, I have planned a number of programs. Some of them I'm not able to do because I'm not there because it means changing the space and getting you to do certain things yourself. Um, but if you can, uh, you can write you can, uh, you, uh, what you want to be called on the day and why you want to be called that thing on the day. You need to think, look at yourself. What do you want to be called? What name do you want to be known by and why? Um, there is a workshop about that. Maybe 